Anime Expo is a really big convention for us. Uh, it is the largest, I believe, anime convention specifically in the United States. It was estimated before we came to the show it was going to be between 40 and 50,000 people a day. It seems to be on the high side. I think today it's probably closer to 50,000 and upwards. It takes a very refined fan to really love anime. Anime fandom is just something that progresses from someone that really, really loves video games, geek culture, and while it is a little bit of a niche within a niche, it's really growing. It's really becoming more mainstream. You can see it in the, uh, the demographic of the fans, uh, the people that are attending Anime Expo, it's changing a little bit, and uh, I'm going to say for the better, and a big part of what the Funimation show is trying to do is, is make anime more relevant, make it more mainstream, kind of like how comic books and video games have become. We saw one boy with his family, they came one day and he was dressed as Mario, the next day he was dressed as Woody. So it's definitely changing. It's almost like an, an alternate show to come to instead of Comic-Con, which has now become incredibly packed to the point where people can't enjoy it or can't get to go to it. So I really embrace and hope that more people come to Comic-Con as well as Anime Expo. It's really cool here. Like, everyone's all dressed and nice. I could just take, I just could go up to anyone and say, oh, hey, can I take a picture of you? They're like, oh, oh yeah. So I'm like, oh, man. We go all over the nation visiting uh, all these conventions and again, this is blowing me away. I am so overwhelmed by all the great cosplay and uh, genuinely uh, most of the people that are doing the, the, the characters that they're doing are nailing it. I mean they are absolutely bringing their A game here. We have one of the most famous cosplayers in Japan and actually the whole world, Mr. Kaname. The response has been immense. Um, he's just, he's so talented. He makes all of his own costumes and he loves anime and that's like the best part. He gets to interact with all of his fans. How do people treat us because we're not anime? You know, we're getting a lot of love. Cosplayers appreciate cosplayers, so it's all love here, you know? The anime crowd is absolutely one of the friendliest and most uh, in just loving crowd. The great thing about anime is, you know, its influence on animation. And if you go and you watch, you know, Western cartoons, you could see a lot of anime influence. I feel like certain shows like maybe Adventure Time, for example, since it's drawn like a chibi anime style, I feel like that's really popular and that's also like a really big thing that's kind of bringing the Japanese anime style over here. Channels like Nickelodeon, they made uh, Avatar, like The Last Airbender. That's, I think, more inspired from anime. Like the art style is very anime-ish. With things like Pacific Rim, it's basically live action Evangelion. I mean, that's, I mean, these stories that are told in anime and manga kind of transcend culture and people love good entertainment no matter what country it comes from. I see all the people here, it's their first anime expo. I know they're going to meet friends that they're going to have for the rest of their life. They're going to be there for their children. They're going to be, you know, friends till the end. And I, just powerful entertainment brings that together. I'm just, yeah, this is, I, I get energy from this. This is great. Ah! <laughs>